Hello and we are back. As you can see, some changes have been made. Uh, I just tidied mostly. I was getting a bit annoyed with just everything that was going on here, so I pretty much flattened it. As you can see, I used the majority of this pick, um, but I flattened it all out. I separated these just because I don't think we were getting any benefit from having six. And then so three and three and maybe we can put something else here i don't know um and then i i also grabbed all of this stuff because these are the the farms that we're going to want to make um at some point coming over to here um i've realized something one we don't need the blaze burners but to make this <laughs> we need a pog <laughs> which we are nowhere near well we're near but like we're we're missing obviously the sparkle team and the it's a little bit annoying. Um, I did automate our press. Um, so you put stuff in here, it goes through it goes through this little chute that I made uh, into a barrel. Uh, so now we have at least some stuff automated and ready. Um, but yeah, so today I think one of the things I want to start doing is working on some of these farms. Um, but I also want to make a mixer. Uh, so that we can make brass because I think it's the only thing That we need left out of the sheets because we can make gold sheets iron sheets copper sheets, but we need brass sheets and we'll need brass for various things like the mechanical arm uh, and the This at some point but again, it needs another pog um, so for now, I think it would be cool to start looking at making some of these farms. And I think we'll start with the tree farm because it's probably the, the most reasonable place to start. So, in doing so, what we're going to do... Oh, actually, actually, I found out that we can also maybe make our water wheels a little bit better with just a bit of soul sand. So if we take this... And we're going to need a little bit more water. And we come over to our water wheel. So, currently, if we look at the water wheel, 256. But if we come back here, and we... Oh, too many blocks. Very good, wait. Wait, not the right block, please. We want to place, like, there. There we go. Uh, there we go. If we place this here, and then we water bucket these three so that they're sources, so one, two, three, that should be a bubble elevator now. No, this would need to be uh, the other way around, I think. Wait, let's remove this. It's easier to explain. Basically, the bubble elevator will push these blades around up until the point where it gets to the top. Then it will push these blades around, all the way around. And then finally, you do this here and you break these blocks. Let's just make this a little cleaner. And then this water will come in and push these blades around, meaning it's pushing as many sides as possible. Uh, yeah, 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 but it's these blocks, isn't it? Wait. Right? These blocks, it just wouldn't let me place it earlier. Okay, yeah, 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 these blocks. I was like, that doesn't make sense. Okay, cool, right. So now, if we look at it again, water will push up these, push along here, push around here, and around here. It's only not hitting a couple blocks here, which is perfectly fine. So you need to make sure your direction is okay. Well, I mean, it wouldn't matter. You just have to make sure that it's in the direction of the blades. We could have put the soul sand on this side, it doesn't really matter, but I wanted it there for some 
unknown reason. And then we should just be able to do one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh wait. The same as over here. No, something something's gone funky. I think because it broke. Let's redo this for a second. Uh, let's try it again. Oh, honestly, this pick is a little bit annoying in the real world. Um, so again, we want here, here, here. Then one, two. Three, then here, here, here. Here, here. There we go, 320 across the board now. And yeah, that's how you can mildly boost the speed of your water wheels. Just giving it a little bit more stress units which is cool and that technically should mean that this is running 320 rather than 256 which is nice um yeah i think that's this is kind of the best i can do i i don't fully understand you'd think i understand better with an engineering degree but no um but cool so now i can if i demo to you real quick uh this let's go and get a... Ooh, hello. Do you have anything nice to trade? Nope, 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 and nope. You are... useless. Um, if I get a little bit of... What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of copper, actually. It doesn't look like it, but that's because we have it all in, like, compressed blocks and stuff. Um, we actually have a huge amount that right if i show you now so you put the copper in here it'll go into the hopper bang and you don't even see it because this pulls out so quickly and it just comes into here three four and so forth i'm pretty happy with that it's just a a smart shoot uh shoot because i needed one that i could put a filter on so that it's filtered only to take the plate, the, the sheets out rather than like all of the ores. So maybe let's try and build a mixer for over this side. Um, so what do we need for the mixer again? We need andesite casing. So that's fine. We just need one of you and one of you. Uh, put that down and bang. Ugh. We might have to swap to another pick. Um, we need plates and andesite we've got. Uh, where's our crafting bench? Oh, it's over here. Oh, we didn't have the andesite. Like a fool. Um, so we need this, which we've got. Uh, then we just need a small cog, which we'll need uh, four of you. Little bit of you, little bit of you, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna craft it all from scratch because I want to try and remember. Yeah, there we go. Uh, then we need you, which makes you. Oh, just a regular. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay. Um, I was gonna say that's quite expensive, but uh, we need you. So that will make our mixer. Then we also need a basin. Ah, uh, this needs a perfect one there. Uh, that's fine. Craft the basin. And now, we could try and set it up so it's similar. Wait. So, one back and two along. So, one back, two along here, basically. Uh, with the mixer on top 
so this needs cogs to go the other direction. Okay. Uh, right, we don't have any big cogs. Okay. We need a couple more big cogs. Because I think I redid this when I was moving this. I think I added more cogs in. Um, but that's fine. Uh, we might need some of this and some of this, maybe. I don't know. Um, so, to make a big cog. What was the cheap recipe? Oh, it was with using driftwood. Do we, do we keep any driftwood up here? No, we don't. Okay. Um, big cog. So, let's make two for now. Is this cheaper? Yeah, because that uses one layer mark anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, so then we, we come off of here with a shaft, and then we go big cog, lit, little cog, how do I, how do I make you go flat, or can you go flat off of a big cog? I would have thought you could go flat off of the, the little cog, but maybe I'm not at the right height. Mm, maybe not. Because um, basically we need to... Let's try and organise this so that we are... Little cog here. Big cog here. Then, little cog here, it's not reaching, uh, we could also We could make a gearbox. Let's try this, because, you know, science and stuff. Let's try and make a gearbox for a second. So we need four of you. Uh, we need another one of you to be made into you to then be broken. Then we make you. Then let's make it a vertical gearbox, right? Then we come here and we do this. And then all we have to do from here is we go one there. Um, into small. We could probably save ourselves some time and we could move this up there we go okay and then to make brass all we need to do is mix zinc with copper but it needs to be heated uh, we could try heat it with a campfire I don't know if this works um, if not we're gonna have to investigate the blazes do this for a second then let's go and get our copper uh, does it need to be hoppered in no just the magnet was causing issues uh, this should come down so I'm imagining we need the blaze. So, let's look into this. We need chromatic steel, we've got polished vault stone, we've got an iron sheets, okay. So, W to ponder, using, oh, just right click on a blaze, yeah, yeah, that's cool. So we come through here, we've got easy access to blazes, blaze eye, blazy, there's one, but we could just wait here as well. 
Am I done waiting? There we go. Get captured, son. And we leave. I know with these we need to give it charcoal, so we will also grab some of that on our way back up. Uh, oh, there you go. Bit hot. Sure. Uh, so we come back up here. We will break that. Put you there with a coal. More coal? What's happening? Yeah, right? In the mixer, heated, zinc and copper. Oh wait. Oh. We might have been able to do this the entire time. There we go. Mixing it up. I feel like this is working quite quick as well. Maybe the last one of these should be a small gear. It's absolutely drilling. Look at this thing go. So we're doing 32. I don't know how long that will take. I don't know when it's when it says it's done. I still see some copper in there. I think. <laughs> Trying to have a look see. Oh, so we get double because of course we've got two different ingots in. So actually we'll put half in there and half in there. And now we've got brass sheets. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's now start on one of these farms. So, to start, I want to break some of these blocks. I think we'll do a tree farm to start with. So, let's get ourselves some dirt. That is what we're going to need. It's so cool, this little, like, factory we've got going on. Uh, so, we want maybe this to be our center block. Uh, no, we want to go one more. I think if we do one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, this will be a good size to start with and I think as I said we'll do trees first just because the concept is literally the same for everything after that. So we're going to need a couple things first so let's try and prepare for what we need. We need a bearing, we're going to need a mechanical bearing we're going to need some linear chassis, yeah, some of these, uh, then we're going to need some blades, uh, saws, saw blades, some of these. We're also going to need, uh, I don't know what they're called again, these deployers. Try and clear some of this list actually. Uh, we did that, we did that, okay. So that, 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 that. Uh, we're gonna need some glue. Wherever the glue is. Um, we see the glue there, it's, there's the glue. And I think that's all we'll need. We'll need some chests as well. So we'll go and get... Actually, we could use barrels probably. I like barrels. So let's use three barrels. Um, right. So we're going to need the bearing to start with. We could go and put some of this down, actually. <laughs> to make it a bit easier. So this is going to be in our centre. Then we will have these. And it will go one, two, three, four. 
then one uh, two three four we need one more shoot uh, second we need one more of you which will then make us happy and then we can come down here for a second and put this here and some torches because it's dark as hell uh, torch 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 uh, okay so now sleep sleep and redstone torches is what we need so we come back up here and then we can make three of you so now we have the basic ingredients we do need to have this spinning which is a little bit difficult with the fact that everything is over here <laughs> uh, what we could do and it's a real stretch but because i don't want to move anything anymore is do this for a second this is going to be the dumbest thing you've ever seen but it's going to be worth it <laughs> Basically. This is probably not the final design for this, but I think for now it will make the most sense to do. Um, right, we need to go back up for a second. Uh, we need to actually make these belts anyway, which needs us to grab the kelp that we cooked over here. Yeah, uh, okay, wait. Let's put some of this away. There we go, right. And then to make belts, you just need a chromatic iron. Got it. So, that makes one belt? That's a little expensive. Because I don't know how far these travel. But I don't think it's this distance. So, we're also going to need more of. Because basically the plan is to take this and transfer it over to here somehow. So let's see what we can do if I do this for a second. How far can this actually go? There we go, we're transferring power now. So now we take this one and we just do the same thing uh, over to here. Uh, no, no, no. We're gonna need that and that. Transfer that over to here. Then we transfer back into here. Uh, to here. Like so. And then I need one more of these. Uh, Things, and then we'll be looking good, uh, which needs more of our uh, large supply of chromatic. And that is fine. There we go. Uh, I could also do with making a clutch if we can. Can we make one of these? Oh, easy. Easy we can. We need some redstone, which is fine this away and this away, grab a stack of redstone, and now we can make a clutch as well, which will make our life a little bit easier to work with. Um, 
Because we'll, we'll put you down with you, making you. Then I will put you away. Then we will make another clutch by doing a couple of you and then clutch one of you. Uh, for that we will need a lever. A lever. Because um, if we put a clutch here and then a lever over here, we just need to, again to get the lever. Then we can put this onto here, then we come down, and then all we need to do is take our extra shaft, put that there, uh, then we need our belt, and we do that to that, and now, oh my god this is spinning far too quickly, I need to turn it off, <laughs> no, <laughs> let me, <laughs> I hit it twice, Oh, okay, <laughs> so little quick. <laughs> you live and you learn. That's far too fast for us right now. So what we can do is we can place that there. Um, and we could try and slow this down. Uh, I thought that was going to hold uh, that to there. Right. Then we break this and we break that, that and that. Okay. So, to slow this down, we're going to want to go small to big gearing. Small to big to small. That should connect me. I mean, we could just uh, take off of you, right? Take off of you, and that will be slower. Yeah, it's not bad then. Okay, right. It's okay. Uh, and then we want the glue. We need glue, don't we? Yeah. So super glue is two slime, iron nugget, and a thing, that's fine. It's spinning this way. So this is the back. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, so we want our three crates to be here. And then we want our three places to be here, but pointing downwards. this side and our three we made these where are they did we put them away oh we did we want our three mechanical saws then to be on this side one two three uh, one two three and then that should kind of be it oh wait Oh, these are placed slightly funny where I want them the other direction. Uh, I'd like them to have their... This thing facing this way. How do I do that? Um, maybe if I... Get out of here. Die. Let's go sleep. So now this should be it, really. Um, 
let's get our saplings for a second. Uh, almost the last chest we're looking. Uh, I'd like to replace that dirt pot now. So if I take our saplings now, and I oh it's not done, it's not done. We need to make a storage interface, which will be the thing. Two of these we need. Okay, so we need two more of the special blocks. That's fine. Combined with you. There's one shoot already. Uh, we need to make another of these uh, recipe. That's fine. Uh, and then one of these. Oh, wait. Uh, one of these. There we go. So we make two portable storage interfaces. Then we skip one. I'd like it to be facing the other way. Okay, almost died, but it is working. Uh, <laughs> good to know. Let's come round here for a second, and let's just do this. There we go. Because I would like the portable storage interface to be here, and then you do one gap and I need a chest or box here, uh, and you need it to be on a shoot, I believe, here and here. So then I should be able to come here, and now this should technically work if I put Oh, I need to put these in the filters. Put the filter. Oh wait, the filters spun around. Okay. Uh, we put this in here. If I then do this, it will then plant all the saplings. Right. And then, if I try and grow one, it'll destroy it. Oh shoot. It's, it's left the... <laughs> it's left the thing behind. Wait. No. Uh, we need to stop that. Needs to hold on to that. Maybe we need to glue it. There we go. So, linear thing here. Then we need this. Do we maybe hold glue and? That should now work, I think. I think if you hold the glue in your right hand, it normally um, it will glue whatever you're looking at. So now if we come down here and we start this again, let's now go back upstairs. It's left these two blocks. Um, so we're, we're almost there on being correct. I think we just need to turn this off one more time, uh, come back upstairs, and we need to break you and break you, and we need to then place you uh, you. Uh, so you need to go on this side, and then you down on this So many seconds. Uh, oh, got more seconds. Give me the thing. You need to be placed on this side. And I think that should do it now. Hmm. It seems to have had a moment. Wait. Let's stop it. Sometimes I found this happened when things were touching it when it first starts it will carry around uh, like 
extra pieces that I don't want it to. Uh, so we come back over here. We then start it up again. Is that now working? It looks to be. If we now wait for it to go round and grow this one. Ah, oh, we need more bone meal. Damn it. Come down here. Let's get some bones. Uh, some of these. Two of these. Now we've got the stack and a half of bone meal. And this will just work automatically in the background. not glue the nice tree. Oh. Uh. And if we look here, we're getting stuff. We can make it as difficult as we want for the machine. It will just chug through. Anything that's like a big connected tree, it will also absolutely ruin. Look at this. And that tree grew automatically. We didn't touch that one. Yeah, I'm happy with this. And this will just spend its day spinning around and collecting stuff. We can make it bigger, we can make it smaller. I don't think you'd want much smaller than this. But we can do this basically, this same thing with harvesters. Um, so mechanical harvesters, but we don't need the planters for harvesters because it will just, um, it will just go round and replant the harvester does an automatic replant but yeah so that seems good so we can place this uh, then we can grab a sapling just for the sake of it and that is one thing checked off of our list technically is our automated tree farm don't stand in front of it because it will try and kill you but boom that one grew automatically and then it'll just dump it, and it'll just spin forever. We could slow it down, obviously, but there's no real need. Um, so we can actually come over here, and we can bam, that's one farm done. Uh, let's okay, I'll put some of this stuff away. Uh, you here. Uh, you here. Go in here. There we go. That is one farm done. Uh, okay, it doesn't seem to be able to chop this tree down because I'm imagining because it's too close. So let's turn this off for a second. Let's cut this tree down ourselves. I mean, it would eventually get it when it hits one of these trees, but there's no point in wasting our time. We can just do this. Uh, let's again reset this by just breaking everything that's near it for a second. And I can actually come down here and do that with this one. Let's just, yeah. We'll lose out on, what, a couple trees? It's not really going to impact us that much. And we, as I said, we can always really easily extend this farm to make it bigger. Um, so let's grab all the saplings up. So we can just straight away chuck them in here. And then we can go back down the stairs, reinitialize the clutch. It'll plant everything, and beautiful. So it can't do these ones either. No problem. Why is it not? Has it just not got saplings? Hmm. 
I want to see it plant here. Why didn't it plant here? Wait. Ooh. Spinning blade of death. Uh, is it because that one doesn't have its filter set? Tree, tree, tree. No, no, they do. Let's break all of these for a second. Okay. And let's make sure we grab all of these. We'll put these in here. Shouldn't matter what chest I use because it acts as just a big inventory. Let's just make sure it's planted on every spot. Did it immediately dump a load of saplings? It did. Of course. But it did plant over here, so I think it just needs time. I don't know. It's fine. It is working. We can obviously, if we want, just for the sake of it, we can plant. There you go. And it will just spin forever now. Collecting wood. Lovely. So let's go to sleep. And I think what I'll do is now that you've seen maybe the basics, is I might do the rest of the farms off camera, or at least one of them, um, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I'll do one of the one of the actual harvester farms on camera, maybe, um, because we've got other things to do. We've got vaults and stuff, and what we can do is also we can now start taking some of the wood from this farm. We can cook half of it into charcoal, keep the other half sort of thing. Um, we could process it into planks straight away. There's lots that we can now do now that we've got this automated, and it saves me having to chop down this thing all the time. We can just come up here and we go, oh, how much wood have we got? Oh, plenty. Lovely. Um, so that is good. Uh, we've got our mixer, we've got our press. This we're still going to need time for. I wanted to do it because I think they're very cool, but there's no way we, well, there's not no way. We just need, of course, enough resources to make, say, one pog. But of course we want to make one pog first. To do our um, where is it? Where is this thing that I'm looking for? We want one pog for our crafting bench first, obviously, because that is quite useful. There it is, steam engine. So we need a pog. Uh, vault diamonds are nothing. Black chromatic steel is expensive, but we could definitely make at least one um, and get one of these going. But for now, I mean, the fact that this is it's this one, I think, is running everything. It's not doing too bad. And we can always tap into this one as well. Um, perfect. Let's watch this cut down one more tree, maybe. See if we can uh, spot it doing that. This is very cool. The fact that like it stops and then just done, move on. Yeah, so we can always, if we ever want to, we can always expand this. There you go, there's that tree that I was looking for, and... Done. Chops down trees quickly as well. I think the speed in which it spins also affects the tree chopping. So if I wanted to, I could always speed that up, but it goes around pretty quickly. But we can always extend this by literally just adding more places and more choppers as much as we want. It could, it could do a huge circle. It wouldn't change anything, really. Um, so if we do need more wood in the future, we can always do that. If we also need different types of wood, we can literally replicate this and just remake it for birch, dark wood, all sorts of things, because it will just chop any tree down. But yeah, I think that is what we're going to call this episode. Uh, it's been a very mod-heavy episode, but this is the first like big mod that we've unlocked, and we've got plenty more to look forward to in the future. So for now, I hope you have a good day, and I will see you guys in the next one.
Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, don't forget to maybe watch another video, I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video. Leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello. Anything. Go, go wild.